Hello everyone. Hi. Welcome to the channel of Wall Street Mojo. Friends, today we're going to learn a tutorial on cash flow from the financing activity. So, a cash flow statement is divided into three parts: cash flow from investing, uh, operating activities, and financing activities. So, we are going to learn a, a piece of cash flow statement that is the cash flow from financing activities formulas and some calculations related to the same. Let me show you uh, how things have been recorded in cash flow statement for financing activities. As you can see over here, there's a net change in the long-term debt, short-term debt, uh, some of the items which are there, which gives us the final cash flow from the financing activities. So let's discuss in, in, a, in a really good fashion. In a nutshell, you know, we can say that cash flow from the financing activity reports any sort of issuance or repurchases uh, of a company's own bonds and stocks and the payments of dividend. It reports the capital structure transactions. Items are found in the long-term capital sections of the balance sheets and the statement of the return earnings. So let's begin. Cash flow from the financing activity. Common items included in the cash flow from the financing activities are like first uh, cash dividend that have been uh, paid. Uh, that is a cash outflow. I'll write over here CF. And then you have uh, increase in the in the short term borrowings that is the short term borrowing increase then that is basically the cash inflow the third thing that is the decrease in the short term borrowings stb i'll just write minus over here that is uh, cash outflow the fourth thing that is uh, long term borrowings so ltb long term borrowings uh, that will be your cash inflow then uh, repayment of uh, long-term borrowings so repayment of long-term borrowings that is again again your cash outflow the sixth one is your share sales which is your cash inflow and the share repurchases I'll just write SR and that will be your cash outflow so it is of the view for the main investor that cash in the end if the king so if a company has surplus cash then it can be assumed that company is operating in the so-called safe zone so if a company is consistently generating more cash than the cash used it will come out in the form of the dividend payments share buybacks reduction in debts or the case of the acquisition to grow the company inorganically all of this are perceived as a good points to create a good stockholders value. Let us have a look at how this section of the cash in cash flow statement is prepared. Understanding the preparation method will help us to evaluate what all and where all to look into so that one can read the fine prints in the section. Now, let's see how the calculating of the cash flow from the financing activity is done. Let's assume that there's a there's that there's Mr. X. Uh, he starts a new business. Yeah, and he has planned at the end of the month that he will prepare a financial statement like a income statement, a balance sheet, and CFS. So the first month, you can say there was uh, uh, there was no revenue in the first month and no such operating expense. Hence, the income statement will result in net income to be zero. So in cash flow of the financing activity, the cash would be increased by two thousand dollars. Uh, as that is Mr. X investments in the business. So the cash flow from the financing activity uh, will show that you know there's investment uh, by Mr. X who is the owner of 2000. Right. So if you are new to accounting you also can look into finance so for the non-finance tutorials. Then the cash flow from the financing activity let's understand the example. Let's take an example to calculate the cash flow from the financing activity. Now let's take an example to calculate the cash flow from the financing activities when the balance sheet items are provided. Now as you can see below is the balance sheet of uh, XYZ company for 2006 and 2007. Uh, you can see a couple of details right here the current liabilities and uh, all, all the non-current liabilities the shareholders equity which is leading to the cash flow from the financing activity these are the things. So, also assume that over here the common dividend that has been declared is uh, we'll be saying that the common dividend that has been declared is seventeen thousand dollars. Now, based on this, calculate the cash flow from the financing activity. So, in order to prepare the cash flow from the financing activity, we need to look at the balance sheet item that includes the debt and the equity. So, in addition, we also need to include the cash dividend paid and as the cash outflows here. 
as you can see the bonds uh, the company raises over here 20 to 30,000 so the bond the first and the foremost thing is the bonds so we can say that uh, the increase is 30,000 minus 20,000 that is 10,000 second that is uh, you can say common stock I'll just write over here CS as you can see in the common stock uh, there is a decrease so the change in the common stock balance sheet is uh, 80,000 minus 1 lakh and that will give us uh, 20,000 negative please do note they know that we do not take the changes in retain earnings because as retain earning is linked to the net income from the income statement it is not part of the financing activity then the next thing that we are going to discuss is the cash dividend that has been paid CDP uh, dividend uh, the cash dividend paid is what it is your dividend plus any increase uh, in your dividend and uh, dividend payable so basically that's going to be 17,000 right minus 70,000 plus 10,000 so that will give us uh, 7,000 uh, in negative so the cash flow from the financing activity is going to be 10,000 minus 20,000 minus your 7,000 that will give us 37,000 wait there's, there's some problem so no because we have signs a negative it's, it's going to give us negative answer so it's going to be 10,000 that is as above less 20,000 and less 7,000 which will give us our cash flow from the financing activity as uh, minus 17,000 now we'll discuss an example of uh, Apple calculating the cash flow from the financing activities of Apple now let's take an example for the organization and see how detailed cash flow from the financing activities can help us in determining information about the company. As you can see over here, there's a proceeds from the issue and, and so on and so forth, all the details that have been taken and the cash used in the financing activity that is given into which is in the negative. This is another major component of the cash spending and investor looks at in detail because it is indicative of the kind of the financing activity which has been undertaken by the company in a particular area. So in financial year 15, Apple Incorporation spent closing up to 2484 or 483 million in the financing activities. A few observations from the above cash flow from the financing activity as a part are the company has been steady in uh, as a part of the dividend uh, payer, okay, and uh, that was over 11,000. Uh, as you can see, payment for the dividends it is quite steady 11,126, 11,561, and 12,150. Uh, each year an investor who do not don't wait for the capital appreciation can earn money from the steady steady dividend paid by the company every year one more important factor to see is the repurchase of the shares that has happened um, as you can see the repurchasing of the share is indicative of the fact that the company has been generating steady returns the company is generating ample cash and using the same to buy back the stocks so the average repurchase over the last three years has been 35,000 uh, million. So, as you can see, 730, 543, and 495. So third most interesting thing that one can see from the above statement that the company has been taking long term debts. Well, well, you can say that uh, in that particular scenario, this, this might be one of the way companies financing its activity this is very important. I mean, uh, however, as an Apple Incorporation, which is overall sitting on a pile of cash, it would be interesting to question why such an entity will take in more long term debt. It can be the business decisions or it can be because of the fact that borrowing rates have been at all time low and the cost of the financing through equity is not feasible for them. Also, we know that, you know, the company on one hand is repurchasing the share over here and hence taking more money from the equity market can be counterproductive. So based on this, we can make a final conclusion that investors earlier used to look into income statement and uh, balance sheet uh, for the clues about the situation of the company however over the years investors have now also started looking at each one of them statement alongside conjunctions of the cash flow statement so this actually helps in getting the whole picture and also helps in taking much more calculated investment decisions so as we have seen throughout the tutorial we are able to see the cash flows from the financing activity is a great indicator of the core financing activity of the company so if the company has surplus cash, then it can be assumed that the company is operating in so-called call safe zone. And uh, if a company is consistently generating more cash than the cash used, it will come out in the form of dividend payments, uh, share buybacks, 
and a reduction in debts, cash, and in case of the acquisition to grow company inorganically. So all of this are perceived as a good points to create a good stockholder's value.